Joining Generations is a 501c3 nonprofit startup located in Frisco, Texas, and we provide opportunities for the youth to connect and engage with the senior population. My name is Katie Biglow, and I established Joining Generations in 2016 as a high school sophomore. Joining Generations partners schools with senior facilities in the form of student led chapters. Both the students and seniors partake together in various mutually beneficial events. Here is our first and only chapter and we will be expanding very soon. Joining Generations has helped me recognize my passion for volunteering and what it's like to live in a senior facility or have family who lives in a senior facility. Being a part of Joining Generations has been so much fun and a really great experience. It's not only a great way to give back to the community, but also a great way to learn new perspectives and ideas from the seniors. Joining Generations helped me connect with seniors in a way I've never done before, and it showed me the importance of helping seniors in the community. So during events that we have called Tech Days, what we would do is come in and show seniors how to use tech. Now usually, when they do not know how to use tech, we need help set up accounts for them, and that takes time. During that time, they usually tell us stories about their life, which I find really interesting because a lot of them have lived through events that I read about only through history books. For example, this one woman that I was helping was a Rosie the Riveter character during World War II, and I thought that was really interesting when I was learning about what she did and how it felt like. I love interacting with the residents and seeing how excited they get when we come and visit them, and I hope that this club is able to spread awareness to other high schoolers and that they're able to find a passion for volunteering and a love for it the same as I did. Each month they do uh, several activities with our residents. So we have an independent living uh, residence and then assisted living and memory care and they've actually been a part of all three of those. Recently we've started a program called Speed Mentoring that they've been a part of and that's just where residents uh, get to interact with the students for 10 minute increments. And the students have, um, the feedback we've gotten from them is that they love it, but the residents especially love it. They feel like it's such, a, it's such an honor to be able to share all of their um, experience. Last Saturday, uh, the Joining Generations group was here. It was very interesting to me to see a large group come that day. The thing that touched me, though, was one girl said that the only contact she had with her grandparents who are in India was via Skype. And knowing how hands-on I like to be with my grandkids, that really touched me. They really listen and they're interested. They have questions and comments which are probing and are difficult. Speaking for myself, I only wish that the questions were put to me at their age. Today we have a fun activity going on with uh, the Joining Generations group from Reedy High School. It's a group of high schoolers who regularly um, interact uh, with activities with our residents. And so today we're ce celebrating early Valentine's with them, doing just chocolate covered strawberries, cookies, juice. And anyway, we also had some questions for the residents about love that they could share um, with the high school students as well, just their take on some different aspects of love. And so each time they get together, they do something a little bit different. Um, and so today we're talking about Valentine's and love, and it's really great to have them all together. So it's a terrific group, and it is well worth um, the time that they're investing in it and the joy that they're bringing to the residents. All we ask for is a contribution of as little as $5 in order to help us launch the organization. By 2023, our goal is to have 50 Joining Generations high school programs up and running. I would like to thank you for listening to our message, and I look forward to your participation in this campaign. Thank you.